Okay guys, excuse all of the packing foam on the floor and things, and excuse me, he might be in this video a lot. There's my toolbox, there's my unassembled pub table that I bought from Wayfair. I'll leave the details about it in the description. Um, after I post the video, I'll you know go back and put that in the description. But this is a pub table, a very small little pub table that I bought from Wayfair. This is what it's supposed to look like when I'm done. And yeah, it's just gonna go in this little dining nook, whatever you wanna call it. And so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along on the ride of me building this table. I usually put a lot of things together on myself, but lately I haven't been doing it myself. I've been having help, so this and one other thing are the only things I've actually had to build. So let's get into it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, huh, Bean? Oh, he's going to sleep. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're starting with. We've got the glass top that has a little foam pad under it. I left it there. We've got the two seat cushions because it's just a table and two chairs. And we've got what looks like the back of the chairs. We've got uh, what looks like four legs and uh, the two, I mean, and four connector thingies for the legs. We've got the actual table legs. We've got what looks like goes in between the table legs and honestly not sure what those are I think those are the decorative pieces that go in between the legs I think I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna say I think because I'm really not sure and then it came with uh, these suction cups to hold the glass top on I'm assuming and so I put that up there already and we got various different types of screws we got these screws we've got these screws and some smaller ones like that and uh, some more long ones like that and yeah so I'm saying what looks like and I'm thinking and possibly because this table came with absolutely no instructions I looked a million and one times um, everything was in bags, so I went through all the little bags I was containing it. I went through under, oh, I went through under. <laughs> I went under all of the foam padding and everything, and it has absolutely no instructions to it. But like I showed you, I pretty much guesstimated what all this stuff was. And once I figure out which screw goes in which hole, it won't be a problem. So we're gonna get started. You guys. I would like to just say that I am not meant to be a downstairs neighbor because I was just putting this table together. I got these two pieces here connected, right? So I was like, let me lean this up against this while I grab the other screws, the whole thing toppled over. And yeah, I'm not meant to be an upstairs neighbor. So now the downstairs people probably hate me and like I walk fairly heavy so I've just been stomping y'all. I've just been a stomping and a stomping and I really don't. I don't know what to tell these people because it's like I'm not trying to be loud. It's just like even my regular walking sounds like stomping up here so I don't really know. I hope they can't hear me because if they can they probably hate me and I would totally get it. Alright, now I'm going to take this little tool it came with and tighten them up. Okay, so I got the very base, basic base, <laughs> I got the very basic base out of the way, um, but according to this picture, the biggest one of these little loop-to-loop -loop thingies down here actually goes in between the table. I don't know what I said all these were for last time, but this biggest one goes... Sorry downstairs neighbors, oh my goodness. This biggest one goes at the bottom between there. So that's what I'm going to do. So to put the basic frame of this table together, I used all of the longest screwdrivers that I showed y'all at the big screwdrivers. I used all of the longest screws that I showed y'all at the beginning and they're all gone. So I'm assuming everything else uses um, these screws because there's like a plethora of these and then we got some teeny tiny ones. I 
feel like those are for the seat cushions, I think. But like I said, no instructions. I'm kind of just winging this. Um, and obviously before I put the glass on, I'm gonna wipe down all of this under here because I don't know how hard the glass will be to take off once I put it on. But oh, see right here. It came like really dusty and like kind of like gunky a little bit. So that's why I'm gonna definitely wipe everything down before I actually put the glass on. But this is what we got so far. Okay, so now all I'm doing is just getting off the extra little dusties that I told y'all about. So yes, this Wayfair table comes with obviously all the little foam pieces still stuck to it because this is actually metal. And then, like I said, there was like this little like pinkish, whitish dust still on it, so getting that off and I feel like if the suction cups are a little bit like moist they probably will stick a little bit better so why not and the only reason I'm concerned with that is because I'm a little bit of a klutz so and plus you know if the suction cups are dirty underneath the glass you're gonna be able to see it and yeah don't want my table to look dusty. And down here, getting this last little metal piece on, it wasn't perfectly shaped for it. So while I was screwing, I had to like push and bend and all kind of stuff while I was trying to like make the holes line up and everything. So that's another thing to pay attention to is that this last little piece, if you don't want to struggle to put a table together, this table ain't it. <laughs> it's not hard to put together, but like I said, a couple pieces aren't perfectly fit together, so I was having to push and pull and bend things to where they would actually fit with one another. Ow. So, yeah. This has a lot of remnants on it as well. Of um, It's like stringy foam remnants. I don't even know what to call it, but... And this is tempered glass, so I really don't think, oh my goodness, it's way dirtier when you don't have this on the back of it. And y'all, I'm such a neat freak. This is gonna, this table might drive me crazy because I'm gonna be under it trying to clean it, over it trying to clean it. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. So here's the table. Just put the glass top on. Come from this angle too. You can see the actual suction -y cups on it. Okay. Bad. It's definitely room for two. <laughs> Very cute. I can't wait to get placemats and things. But anyways, before I get carried away, let me finish my chairs. Okay, so table and chair number one are completed. The table, I honestly probably finished that in like 30 minutes. Like that was not hard at all. The um, chair, I don't even know how long it took me. I started the table at 314. And that took me like 30 minutes and it's now five, five o'clock even. It's right on five o'clock and I just finished this chair. Like I said, well actually I don't know if I said this already, but yeah, this chair was just, just hell. <laughs> it was not fun to put together. I remember I was like, I'm using all the long screws 
on this outside hole and the inside holes on the table because I feel like this table needs to be the sturdiest or I don't even know. But basically, the long screws only go on the outside parts of the table and the chairs. Like you'll see here on the back of the chair, there's another outside, another outside on that part. So basically on the outsides of the table and the chairs, that's where the long screws go. So I had to go unscrew the inside screws on the table because I use long screws and put short screws and then I could use the long screws on the chairs. So long screws are in any hole that start from the outside of any piece. The short screws go on the insides of every single, everything else. So short screws, everything except the outside. Hope that makes sense because I showed y'all and I told y'all. So yeah. Okay guys, this is the completed pub table that I bought from Wayfair. Um, so a little quick review. Like I said previously, there are a lot of serrated edges on the chair and the table, the chairs and the table where the welding should have been done a little bit better. Like, let me find a piece to show you. For example, you see how this isn't perfectly welded together on this chair here. And there's just a lot of like even smaller, sharper parts on the table you know, where you would put your feet or where you lean back. You know, if you're wearing a tank top that might be able to cut you or something, you know, so that's something to consider with this. Also, remember what I told you about the screws and I'm only telling y'all that because it did not come with instructions. Like it didn't come with instructions. I said, part A connects to part B and you connect part A and B with screw number one. You know, it didn't have any instructions at all. Not one piece of paper with instructions. Um, it was pretty self-explanatory for me because I put things together, but if you're not someone that does those things, then it's not really self-explanatory. You've got, like for example, like I told you, I put the longest screws in the table, but they're really just for the outside. So yeah, it doesn't come with instructions, that's why I told you all that. And so, um, yeah, and my advice with this table, if there's a part that is more serrated or more messed up than the other one with like scratches or dents or something you can just flip it and have that facing the inside of the table or the inside of the chair or whatever it didn't have too many dents at all like i only saw one little dent and that's on the inside leg of a chair um but it was a lot of scuffs on it like as i was putting it together i was doing a lot of wiping and a lot of cleaning the scuffs off um so yeah what else did I want to tell you guys about this table? Um, 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 oh, and like I said, if you're not a builder type of person, this isn't a one person job because um, you see these bottom pieces? I put those on after I finished the whole table or after I finished the whole chair or whatever. And so, like I said, the pieces aren't perfectly fit together. So I had to do a lot of squeezing and pulling and bending while I was trying to fit the screws in the holes and aim and all that and screw at the same time. So, you know, I was able to maneuver myself and the chair and the pieces and everything <laughs> in order to do that. But if you're not accustomed to doing that and if you don't think you're strong enough to hold a piece of metal in a bent position that it's not supposed to be in to fit it, this is a kind of a two person job. Um, but like I said, the table was very easy to put together. That first chair wasn't because nothing lined up the pieces I had to squeeze and pull and maneuver and a lot of trial and error on how to do it properly and blah, blah, blah. So that table look, took very long. That chair took very long, not table. Table's good, that chair took forever. The second chair that I finished, I finished that in 20 minutes, okay? There was one, two, three, four, five. There was five pieces, it took me 20 minutes to put all five pieces together. Um, also, there are about a million and one screws in this, um, kit or whatever and um, you use every single one of them and um, it's the exact number that you will need there are no extras so if you feel as though you're gonna be on a surface that the screws can roll away or if you're just clumsy and you might step on them kick them and then you know you've lost one or two under the couch or under the refrigerator whatever you know you need to be aware of that because it's the exact number of screws like there are no extras it looks really nice once it's done. It's very sturdy, very stable. 
this is tempered glass i can't wait i can't wait to finally like decorate it and eat on it <laughs> so yeah you guys that's this table thank you guys for watching me put it together and i'm probably going to be on to my next project so stay tuned for that